I'm pretty much at a standstill right now because I'm waiting for some parts to come in the mail. And since I'm kind of waiting, I'm going to go ahead and work on the case top, the window. So what I think I'm going to do is um, kind of cut these corners at an angle, this one and this one, and then have it, the rest of it squared off. I'm just kind of eyeballing the distance that I want here. I marked it at about an inch and a quarter, and that's what I'm going to do all the way around. I'm going to line the angle up with this bracket because once there's a window there, it's going to really bug me if they're, the angle's not perfectly lined up with this. pretty straight. Now I'm just using this little metal old school tape measure that I have and I'm just rounding off these corners. They're easier to cut, they look better, and they give more stability. And to tell you the truth, I don't even know if we need this angle. I might just wind up doing a complete square. The only reason I'm getting rid of this line so I can see the shape a little bit better without that distracting me. I don't know if I'm going to do just a big open square or I'm going to taper that off on one side. So after all that talk about an angle, I think I'm just going to do a square. It's, it's the safe bet just because I don't want an angle to look weird with the interior components so yeah I think I'm just gonna do one big square and I got this little piece of wood because I can put it behind here and I have some sort of solid backing to drill on without ruining my table Now that I have the window cut out, a rough cut, I'm going to take a Dremel and clean up these corners. And then I'm going to run a bead of uh, masking tape around the edge so I can get a nice straight line. And then I'm going to take the Dremel and uh, clean up these lines. See how it's a little bit wavy or whatever? There's no real way to avoid that. So you got to go back and clean it up. All right, I put some masking tape around the edge to give me a straight line. And to tell you the truth, I concentrate more on this edge. Like I don't want to overshoot the actual cut, but this is easier to see that your tape is straight rather than this jacked up line that I cut out, you know what I mean? I mean, it's not that jacked up, but you definitely want to concentrate on this outside edge to make sure your tape line is straight. As you can see I have some decent amount of grinding to do and unfortunately you basically have to be at the lowest point of your cut and then you got all this crap and then I'll just kinda eyeball the corners and do a nice round transition. Pretty nice transition. And clean the whole thing up. I finished cleaning up the edges they're nice and straight for the most part. And now I need to sand this up really good. I think that's good enough. I sanded it down. Now I'm going to take it outside and paint it white.
I have installed the plexiglass window. This is just like the plastic that was on the plexiglass and I laid it back over there to prevent it from getting scratches. But I used a pretty heavy duty double sided tape because when I put the case cover back on the computer, I just thought it was going to look crappy putting any kind of screws around the edge. I just wanted a nice clean look so I decided to go with double sided tape. Unfortunately, when I was doing this this door, it was kind of before I started uh, really filming the process of everything I was doing. But I didn't film uh, painting the front edge. I just I just filmed painting the back edge, and I didn't film cutting out the plexiglass window and all that stuff. Unfortunately, I wish I had, um, but I didn't. But I'm going to show you the back side of this, anyways. Um, I basically just put some heavy duty double sided tape on there and I cut the the plexiglass to fit you know rounded the corners real easy I um this is the light kit I uh these strips usually come in two separate strips but I soldered them together right here put some heat shrink on there put a little bit of um sleeving right there to make it look a little better and I just hot glued it in this come with a uh, double sided tape on the back but the double sided tape sucks so it's pretty easy to put one of these in I mean obviously the hardest part is to cut the cut the metal but after that just get some nice double sided tape and tape it in